So in this video, I'm going to go through how to upload a picture or a photo into your Schoology course. It's important because this photo will be the first thing your students see when they log into Schoology, the first thing that's going to kind of inspire them to want to engage in your course. So it's important that you find a high quality photo that students are going to see every day that they would be willing to kind of want to come back and open up your course again. So I would take some time and really get a great photo. Um, and I wouldn't probably use the ones that are already loaded into Schoology. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Go to your Schoology course. So if you are on, you know, your, your Schoology kind of, you know, login page, I have a lot of courses loaded. Again, this is the second video I showed how to create a course in the first video. These courses were created for me by my school district for this year. But in the summer, I do have to create my own course. So that was the first video and I showed that. But here's my Schoology course 101 that I'm going to use for all of these videos. And I would not be inspired if that was the picture I had to look at as a student. So if I were to pick any of these, also not very inspiring. So what I like to do is go to a site called unsplash.com. And I already typed in teaching just to save some time on the video. And I usually would type in chemistry because that's what I teach. But I would kind of, you know, type something that I'm looking for and just find a photo that really kind of is inspiring um, to me at this time. So I kind of feel like this one could be with a blank classroom because some people are teaching uh, from home or some of us are hybrid. So I'm just going to choose this one. There's just something about the photo I like, I think, because it says teaching is my superpower and there's Wonder Woman. So I'm going to hit download for free. And then you can even say thanks if you wanted to to that person and so it's downloaded already but I'm going to rename it so I can find it better so I'm going to pull this down so you can see me renaming it I'm just going to double click and I have a Mac so I will just say teaching is my superpower and I'm going to put it in caps so I can find it really fast for our video here okay so I'm going to go back now to Schoology and go to edit picture and then attach a file and they can be kind of small, fine megabytes, but most of the pictures that you're going to find that are free are fine. So I have a teaching is my superpower, so it should be down here. There it is. And I'm going to hit open, and it'll load. And if it doesn't look good, you'll have to go for a different photo. Some photos you're going to find are not, you know, you can, you can edit them, and you can kind of choose a section, and you can crop them. But honestly, I kind of like the photo the way it is, so I'm going to hit cancel. And there it is up in the corner. Um, that, that would be what students would see when they would come to their courses page. All right, so that's it. It's pretty simple, pretty easy, but it's also very important that when you are, you know, your students are coming to you for your the first class, that they see a photo that kind of engages them in the subject that you're trying to teach. All right, good luck, teachers. Like I said, the description below will have the Google Slides presentation that links all of these YouTube videos in. Uh, good luck, and on to the next step in creating your Schoology course and making it look fantastic for your students.